Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. Today's pick a card is what changes are you ready for and whether or not you will either make the change or receive the change. So basically being open to receive or allow this change. So it should be an interesting reading. Um, I will show you the four options which are listed in the comments as well as the description. And remember that this is a general reading and it may not resonate 100%, but if you'd like a personal reading, the info is in the description and I've opened the slots for April already, so it should be, they should be available. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the four options here. This is group number one, which is Howlite. Group number two is the Orange Aura Quartz. Otherwise known as tangerine, I think, tangerine aura. Group number three is a uh, green fluorite. Little tower point here. And group number four is the clear quartz pendulum or just quartz pendulum. All right, so as usual, just take as much time as you need. You can pause the video, you can take a breath and just go with your gut instinct here, whichever one you're called to the most. And whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. <clears throat> hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number one, which is the Howlite. All right, so Spirit, this reading is for group one and the energies for them, especially what changes they are ready for and whether or not they'll make or allow them or receive them. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group one. Thank you. Okay, so I got to warm up a little for this. <laughs> this always happens in group number one. I feel like <clears throat> kind of like um, off balance, especially if it's been a while since I've read. Spirit, what are the present energies for group number one? What are they dealing with? Let's just do a check in here. Group number one, please. What are they dealing with here? Present energies for group one, please. Okay, so two cards, but such a very lovely start. We have here the Fool and the Knight of Cups. So it is showing that you're moving smoothly toward a new beginning. So it it already did answer our question of what changes you are ready for. You're, you're ready for all of the change. You're ready for so many of these positive changes. Bottom of the deck I'm seeing here. The Ten of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Beneath that, I'm seeing the Three of Swords, okay? So before I uh, go further here, I just wanted to take my time with this energy. So with the Fool, it, again, it, it is showing that you're ready for pretty much anything and everything that Spirit has to offer your new way of life. 
there's a great level of courage in this Fool card. And with the Knight of Cups, I am seeing determination, but it's not an aggressive kind of a determination. It, it's not like the Knight of Swords or the Chariot. This is actually a very loving kind of determination. It's being completely open at the heart level to these changes because you know that it's coming from a place of love if you're receiving these blessings. It's coming from a place of divine's love for you, basically. Spirit, can you please tell us what changes are they ready for? What changes are they ready for? Group one, please. The Howlite, our, our Howlite group. So, specifically, group one, you're ready to release sadness or disappointment or any kind of feelings of not having, such as uh, a feeling of perceived failure or stuckness or um, anything having to do with the past and longing and not having, okay? So it could be yearning, and, and for, for some of you, yes, this could be direct loss and grief, um, but the change that you're ready for is the ending of this cycle. With the King of Cups here <clears throat> and the Seven of Wands, it does show that you are ready to stop fighting your emotions, actually or to stop fighting energies or stop fighting your intuition. There's kind of a lot involved here, so that's why it's showing that <clears throat> you're ready for a whole lot. Okay, so apologies in advance. My, um, my voice has been messed up lately. All right, so uh, I still feel like there's a ton of messages that want to come out, which is why none are coming out. Spirit, can we please have the messages one at a time? For group number one, what changes are they ready for specifically? What can you tell us about the fool? Yeah, so the world, everything, fulfillment and completion. And the world card is actually the final card. So you are ready for the start of a new chapter, specifically a new chapter of your life. With the Page of Swords, this is showing a, <clears throat> a clarity of mind, freedom of mind, and definitely looking at all kinds of different ideas, seeing different perspectives, seeing in different directions than you were previously. So this does mean that you've adapted, you've opened up the mind significantly, and you are no longer burdened or you will no longer be burdened by specific expectations this is a big deal for you um because i think that actually is what was causing the five of cups a uh, majority of the five of cups energy it feels like it was because of a particular expectation okay um yeah definitely something that at times you may have felt that you had to push for and it may have at times turned into an energy of forcefulness or uh, what I mean by that is I mean by uh, kind of like forcing the water forward, like pushing the energy or forcing intuition or something like that. I don't mean forcefulness in an aggressive way, similar to what I said before. Can you please tell us more? What what are they ready for specifically with the world, the new chapter? What is the new chapter? What does it involve? What are they ready for, please? What changes? You are ready for, wow, you are ready for balance and for power, for a healthy, beautiful sense of self-esteem, confidence, uh, abundance in your life. In terms of the balance, this is probably going to actually be two things, mental, emotional balance, as well as physical balance. Um, so physical could be, if you did have physical bodily issues but it also could be balance within your environment or your situation so we are confirmed for balance here as well with the two of cups at the bottom and then here with the nine of swords it is showing that mental health aspect of things so 
not just anxiety or sadness, but the, the cycles of not being quite present or adventurous or loving or just anything that would take you away from this present experience of the Fool. So the Fool is a really interesting card. If you guys are interested to, uh, to Google the meaning, it may resonate with you in a very deep way that this is the energy you're ready to embody, that of a child, the inner child, that of someone who really is carefree and spontaneous and extremely, extremely present. With the Fool card, he's literally at the edge of a cliff and he's not looking down or worrying. And I think that <clears throat> the takeaway message with embodying the energy of the fool is that the fool is trusting. The idea behind it is that in its light aspect versus the shadow aspect, the fool is trusting and, and has a lot of faith within the divine and his guides. It's not in the way of being impulsive and reckless. That's on the negative end of things, but in the positive end of things, this is someone who is trusting and faithful and curious to explore everything that life has to offer so that's why this energy was so powerful for you because it encompasses everything that a new chapter would bring um i do feel already that yes a hundred percent you're ready to make these changes you're ready to receive these changes let's take a look deeper here anything else we need to know about the fool and the world for group one Yes, okay. Knight of Wands at the bottom. There is, however, just a little bit of hesitation left. Uh, I think that it's only a matter of time before you're ready to burst forward <clears throat> with the sense of passion. You have here the Knight of Pentacles, uh, sorry, the King, the King of Pentacles. And then you have the Six of Wands, right? So, so yes, you are ready for success. I just have a feeling that a little bit more patience is needed, a little bit more time has to pass, not because they're trying to withhold this from you, but simply because everything has to come into a particular alignment for you to have this successful new chapter. And even though a lot of people don't really like hearing that they have to have patience or like it's all a matter of divine timing, at the end of it, you are going to look back and see that it was worth the wait or uh, that it was a smart move to just allow this to come into fullness because, you know, I often compare it to the fruit on the tree. You know, if you pluck the fruit too soon and it's not ready, it's not ripe, it's going to just be a sour experience. So this is pretty much the same thing or it won't be 100% of its sweetness. So you, that is why they are saying that there's just a little bit more time has to pass here. But once it comes around, it will be unmistakable. You will know with certainty that this is the new wave, the new chapter of your life because of all of the warmth that's coming through, the passion, the power, abundance. You will feel it and it's coming very soon. So... Let's take a look at the receiving part of things. Spirit, can you please let us know about them receiving this energy or making these changes? What do they need to know about this part of the question, please? Group one. So you have the Empress again. And then you have the Hierophant, um, High Priestess at the bottom, and then you have the Five of Swords. It is, the most important message here is the Empress. It is essential that you center yourself in your fullest power. Not all the time, it doesn't have to be every single moment or... You know, like, it, it doesn't have to be something that you drain yourself or strain yourself in terms of thinking about. But on average, they want you to lead with this abundant, powerful mindset where you feel in your power. So the Empress is very much one with nature and uh, 
one with her feminine power, right? Regardless of your gender. Um, this is an energy of someone who's certain of themselves, their place in the world, and they are so comfortable with being their authentic self. That's the kind of power that is needed here to be certain of yourself. And that is the trust. The, so instead of the trust within the universe and spirit, this is the trust within you. If this is a problem, if you don't feel that this aligns with you just yet, you can actually work towards this goal by working on probably, I would say, the third chakra, the solar plexus, which is responsible for power. You can also work on your sense of being grounded with the root chakra. So going into nature, grounding yourself physically in your physical body, um, or meditating, you know, which, which, whichever thing makes you feel centered and uh, like, like you're, you're standing tall. And just like as a practical physical advice, make sure that your, your posture is aligned and that you're breathing deeply from the, the belly. With the Hierophant card here, this is sort of the, uh, the spirit card coming through. I'm feeling from this card that you have an enormous amount of support from spirit. You have a huge support system, um, but specifically, th this is actually, I feel, spirit or God or the divine, however you identify, um, that is, is watching over you and really lifting you, actually, supporting you at this time. I don't really know why I I'm getting that feeling. I'm just, it, it's, I almost can't put it into words, but it's a very strong feeling. And then here with the five of swords this is actually probably not coming from you at least not completely because this is like a petty battle card a petty conflict card this could be coming from outside of yourself where again something is just not quite aligned but within due time you will be seeing the swords fall and everything coming into that balance so so um spirit is there anything else you can tell us about the changes that are going to come towards them spirit moving forward now what changes are coming towards group one that they are allowing or creating <clears throat> group one please wow this is this is pretty cool because this is exactly what we were talking about the new chapter you have the death card so this is the the fool the world and the death card this is a triple confirmation that you're having a new beginning a rebirth and you can see the sun right you see the sun right there peeking up over the horizon after all of the old falls away the sun is coming up and here it is isn't that cool so look at all of the life here in this card all of the vitality you have the red here i feel like a lot of the times i think of red and i think of leadership or it could be passion or new life or something like that some of you that might be relevant in a literal way with a child coming through somewhere i don't know where from <laughs> it could be from you or in your life somewhere here we have the sunflowers and the warmth of the sun i'm feeling a really uh it's like a a direct kind of heat here so i was thinking something having to do with summertime or uh it could be spring technically because spring can get quite hot but um spirit is giving a message to a lot of us having to do with the hot months okay so specifically the sun is shining through literally in this energy whenever you're receiving this it's going to be hot um and then the sun is over here as well there's definitely a sense of adventure coming through here. I think that for a lot of you, you are going to explore something completely new, either a physical experience or an idea or something, whatever it is, spiritual. There's something here that you've never even thought to attempt or to like to to like tiptoe towards. There's something totally new coming here, and it's because of the trust and this new wave of confidence, not necessarily only within yourself, but within the journey of life. There's this wave of the mentality I'm feeling from you that you come into this clarity about life, about this journey of life, the fool's journey, right? Specifically that we only have this one life to live, 
and you no longer want to spend any of it feeling like this. Or thinking about the past or the future because you're it's almost as if it's really locking into place I feel the gears turning in the mind and in the, the spirit the divine alignment the puzzle pieces falling into place and and you just would do anything except spend another moment not being in the present in the fullness of your life so this is really an amazing beautiful message I'm drawn to this feather here. Uh, I don't normally notice this, but I'm noticing it now that there is a red feather on the head of the child. Hmm. So for you guys, uh, something with feathers definitely could be important. Um, definitely something with red. We already talked about red, but there, there's something here with this red feather that is kind of striking me. I feel like that could be some sort of a synchronicity message right there. Um, and again, with this with this King of Swords, it's it's uh, who uh, for for a smaller number of you, this is a direct message about relief and taking a break. I'm feeling a sense of rejuvenation from the King of Swords. So some of you, it might literally be taking a, a break in terms of a vacation or something like that. Now that might not seem like much of a spiritual thing, but it really is because most of you have been overworked and tired, exhausted, strained, uh, depleted, and for you to be able to even take a break it says a lot about your soul's growth because this means that you've overcome a blockage to self-care. I think a lot of us can relate to that one. And allowing your mind to rest, allowing your body to be replenished, especially the soul, to be replenished. Spirit, is there any other final advice that you have for them in terms of creating change, receiving change, or preparing for change, like making it happen. Any other advice for group one? <clears throat> well, this is not advice, but it's nice to hear that you will succeed and that you're very close. You're already on the way to success. Yeah, that's the message. This is interesting. So some of you may actually feel a little discouraged even now as I'm saying this or from time to time but what they're actually telling me is that you're already on the track it's like you've already boarded the train and the train is going to reach its destination when when it reaches its destination you're not going to jump off of the train the train tracks are not going to be halted in any way you're already there so you just have to sit and enjoy the ride see Nothing's going to stop the train. So try to have trust within that is what their point is, I think. Um, so yeah, no advice pretty much with that one. I do, though, want to get just a few oracle cards for you. But so far, this is looking very promising and really encouraging. So let's see. Any other final mes messages? Spirit, any other final messages that you have for group one in terms of the changes and anything they need to hear at this time of their journey. Door to spirit. Yeah, they're opening this door and you see here the beautiful bird with the feathers. I was talking about feathers. I don't know that that uh, there's definitely a sign that will come through to you guys very soon. It may even happen within a day or two, honestly, like give or take, you know, uh, two days, give or take something like that. Um, I'm getting a few different things. It So over here was the, the feather or the color red. Now for the rest of you guys, it could be something with blinking lights. Um, there is a flower here. It's a white flower. It's a small white flower. Uh, some of you may even receive a smell that's very random, like a nice floral smell, like a perfume type of a smell. Uh, having to do with receiving this message. So yeah, they're, so the reason that this all connects is that it'll be the door opening for you. So whenever you receive the synchronicity, I like the fact that you guys got a specific synchronicity message because then you'll know um, it's really nice. It's just a very specific and unique message to you guys. I, I don't usually get these, but 
you'll know that this is the door. You'll know that this is opening for you. And then when you see it, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's it. Let's go, you know? And let's say that, that it doesn't happen in that way exactly. That's, you're still going to feel it. You're, remember before I used the word unmistakable? That's exactly it. There is no feeling like it in the world. You know, that type of elation that, um, it's like a, it's a relief and a warmth and a, a fire. It's, it's kind of hard to describe. Everyone's different, but you're going to know what that feeling is. And it's the door opening for you to this next chapter. Um, some of you may even wake up feeling like that. Maybe you have a dream of something that's really significant, but, uh, you're going to know any other final advice, please for group one in this area of their lives. Thank you. I feel like a couple of times I took on a different accent when I was saying these messages. Um, that's kind of strange. And I feel like it's definitely purposeful. Um, hmm. Having different accents, that could be, oh my God, what a random message. Uh, it, it could have to do with someone in your life that has a different, that speaks a different language than you. Or it could be having to do with different paths, which we are seeing here on the indecision card. You have second chakra, Archangel Ariel. And uh, another angel, I, I did see Archangel Gabriel, actually. Third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. I always don't know how to say that. Um, so here's here you are, okay? You're in the forest of indecision. And this actually probably fits with your energy now. You have no idea where you're going, maybe, for some of you, right? Um, I, I do feel like most of you do know consciously. And if not consciously, you just have a feeling um, group one, what they want you to know is that you can't make a wrong decision at this point. Oh, look, she's wearing red or they are wearing red. So, um, again, I will say again, you're, you're not going to make a wrong decision. You're past that point. You know, I, I personally don't think that any decision is wrong because ultimately we're meant to make that decision in some way. It's like a whole butterfly effect thing. But remember the train is already in motion. You don't have to worry about right or wrong or, you know, the ifs and all of that pressure. Like, you know, I, I felt it just, just breathe, you know, take a nice, warm, relaxing breath and feel yourself releasing all of those swords or all of the burdens. Um, relax. Your angels are supporting you. They have your back. And that is your final message. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, group one, this is a really exciting reading. And I do hope that this helped. I hope that it resonated. If it didn't resonate all the way, but you're curious to know, um, check out the personal readings link in the description. Thank you guys so much as always for, for tuning in. I truly wish you guys the best. And I will hope to see you next time. Okay, take care of yourselves. Bye bye.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number two, which is the Orange Aura Quartz. Spirit, this reading is for group two and whatever changes they're ready for and making or receiving. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group two. So what I'm going to ask first is probably just what your present energy is, what you're dealing with, and the answer should probably come up immediately. Spirit, for group two, please, what energies, uh, what are their present energies, what are they dealing with? For group two, what are their present energies, please? Wowza, we have a lot of prosperity here. So, group two, we have Queen of Swords leading the row. We have the Star, the High Priestess, and this lovely Ten of Pentacles. From this Ten of Pentacles, what I'm feeling is that you've been working extremely hard on this particular success. So, for many of you, it probably will be something with finances or work, but others of you, it can have to do with something with the home or something with the physical self, okay? So it's, obviously it's gonna, it's gonna range, it's gonna vary with, with a lot of people watching, but the, the point of the Ten of Pentacles is that this is fulfilling to you. This is definitely something that you've been wishing for, and that your subconscious or your soul has been guiding you towards. So I like how I didn't even have to ask, <laughs> like if this, this came out immediately. Now, what I am noting is that there's two cards in between you and your goal, right? So this is definitely coming. This is close. And in terms of if you're ready for it, absolutely, 100%. Um, it's so close. Uh, so let me kind of get more about this because the answer hit me so fast. So let me just ground the energy for a second here. So with this Queen of Swords, you're looking straight ahead. And the day is clear. You have a couple clouds, but that's in the past. You're here now in the present where things are just so clear and bright. I'm getting a huge sense of hope, uh, hopefulness from this card. And what I really love about this energy is how grounded you are. You're sitting there on your, what is this, like a cement throne or something like that. It's a stone throne. And... You're so determined that it's ridiculous. Your um, your your natural sense of logic here is really giving you the upper hand in something. Like you have a great advantage here because of the way that your mind works. Very clever, uh, able to anticipate things before they happen, which is kind of funny because that's that's such a psychic thing. But I feel like other people wouldn't say that it's psychic or maybe you might not interpret it as that. But that is a very psychic thing to do. Um, it's, it's both. I think I've said that to you before. Um, you may have heard me say that before, that there is a, a mix here of the logic and the psychic. That's what makes this so interesting. But the amount of determination here is, is very strong. And what I am seeing also in this card is that you have overcome the 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 how can i put this it's it's like a windstorm in the background and you've been able to withstand all of that which is i don't really want to say the word chaos it's it's more like it was just very intense and unpredictable and a, a powerful force in all directions surrounding you but you were able to stand tall and with that sense of resolve and uh steadiness um I, I really can't think of the exact word but you you're just an immovable force you're like a tree basically you're you're like an ancient tree with really strong roots you have a great set of uh strong core beliefs that guide your sense of ethics and integrity so this is a lot of information just with a few cards, right? This is who you are. And then not to mention the fact that you're holding your sword here of truth or communication and I believe of justice as well. <clears throat> and I see the gesture here that you're making with your hand and it shows that you've been directing this 
a bit. You know, you've been directing your will forward. So clearly you have a, you've had a huge hand in these happenings. This is not the kind of change that might come towards you that might feel like a miracle or a spiritual helping hand. This is, this is very down to earth, practical and tangible, right? And this is great news because this is just saying that your hard work is paying off and you will see these results. So you're, you've been working towards this here, the star. So this is talking about your visions, your ambitions, inspirations. Uh, it's, it's really hopeful, really beautiful energy. It's going to be so much different for everybody. Um, I'd like to know about what it is, but it's just way too different for everyone. It's anything at all that makes you feel hopeful and inspired. Some of you, that could be a, a creative thing. Others of you, it's about your your prosperity. Others, it's spirituality. It's just all over the map. So you've been working on this. Here with the High Priestess. Now, that's the psychic energy that is coming through uh, surrounding you, actually. This is a... Oh, I see. You know what this is, is a, um, a spirit guide. Spirit guide, please, High Priestess. Can you tell us about uh, what is your message for group number two, our Orange Aura Quartz group? What is your message, spirit guide, please, whoever you are? <laughs> wow, more swords energy. Okay, not to take away from your logic, like I said, because this is still you. But what your spirit guide just told me is that they have been giving you a lot of psychic insight and intuition, but it's been coming from the space of your mind. So the clair abilities from the headspace. So that's really cool because you actually receive it primarily within the upper chakra. So third eye crown or anywhere within surrounding the head area. Um, that's really funny. So yes, that is your psychic ability whether it's clairvoyance, clairaudience, clair, all of the clairs. Um, so your, your spirit guide, this is a really loving spirit guide who has been with you since day one, rooting for you. They're cloaked here. They're not showing me their true nature. So this could be like a guardian angel or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm noticing the blue, but that's about it. I'm not, I'm not getting anything because the high priestess is hidden. Okay. Um, but yeah, here, the ace of swords, it's pretty much the loudest communication possible. Um, there's the mountains here in the background. And it's, um, this was part of your, I know I'm kind of going off the rails here, sorry, but I, I figured you guys would be interested in this, most of you anyway. Um, this spirit guide or guardian angel or, or whoever this is, they actually put these mountains into place because you are not a person to back away from a challenge. I think that like when it comes to life experiences or let's say you're playing a game or learning a new skill, I feel like you take the challenge from the very first step. Like you purposely want to challenge yourself and you take the harder levels because you know that you can do it, even though it's really hard and it's frustrating, but you, you still have that fortitude within yourself. So this is really interesting. They put that in the path so that you could gain 10 times more strength. So, wow. Um, I just took a journey there. <laughs> Okay, so spirit, thank you, spirit guide, for that for those messages. Uh, what changes are they ready for? What changes are coming in? Ten of Pentacles, please, for group two. Ten of Pentacles, please. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Eight of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So this could be hidden until the very last second. You're not going to be expecting this most likely. Um, and your angel or guide or spirit, are they're going to be holding it back until the last moment. And that's when you're going to receive some sort of message or communication or good news about it or something like that. Can you tell us what, what is the change that's coming? What are they ready for creating or receiving, please, for group number two? What is the change? Group two. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Whatever you lacked, you will receive. That's huge. That's so huge I could barely get out that sentence. Um, <laughs> so uh, in this card, you're, you're feeling a sense of lack or you're just simply hoping for something in the future. Not even necessarily in a sad way, but you're definitely longing for something. Um, it was a sense of completion, prosperity, and abundance or anything positive to receive. That's what the change is. See? So you're receiving a gift soon. And again, uh, for a lot of you, it is in the area of work. But as I'm seeing here, it could be in any area of collaboration or something having to do with family or harmony, like harmony with others. There's definitely a gift coming through here very, very strongly. Can we know what it is, please, with the Page of Pentacles? What is this gift or opportunity that's coming towards them, this change <clears throat> that's coming towards them? So we have the Judgment card. What have you been waiting for news about, group two? That's what this is talking about. You're going to receive a phone call or a communication. And I was noticing this right here. She's catching the sound. You're going to be receiving uh, anything audible that is going to answer something for you. It's like a, it, it's news about something. Can we see for the majority of people what this is concerning? What is this about? It's exactly the same message and yeah, wow, this is, whoa, this is just my, like my mind is blown. <laughs> Look, you have the seven and the eight of pentacles. This is something that you've been really working hard on, investing your time in, planting the seeds for, and really sitting there day after day working on this thing and that's exactly what i said immediately with the ten of pentacles that is so funny um so the reason why they're not giving us a concrete thing is because as you might imagine it's different for all of you some of you i mean i saw different things uh, some of you have been working on uh something having to do with like a work certification a school degree um something with like a house something with your career there's just all everything you know, there's there's just so much involved here, but you, it's it's gonna be unmistakable to you because you've been working on this thing nonstop, consciously. I don't think that this is a behind the scenes kind of spiritual development. I think that this is your true three dimensional uh, everyday world kind of a vibe. So are they going to? Uh, so let's get a little bit more about whether or not you're going to be receiving or allowing and obviously it's we, we can see the answer but i do want to get more confirmation or advice for you but i can't seem to figure out what deck to use um hmm. let's try this one spirit um any advice for them and uh, will they make the changes or receive them or any advice any of these questions will do Okay. Interesting. So we have the Eight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. See? This one, you're going to be receiving a helping hand uh, for something too. So this is what you've been working on. But you've been also working on this with the support and direct guidance from angels and guides in your life, right? So here they are. They're swooping in here to offer you something. And yeah, I mean, it's um, so this is both practical or, or like physical, practical and spiritual as well. So this is going to be at the opening up of something. So what I'm seeing here with these two cards, the eight of cups and the five of pentacles, I am actually seeing that there's this level of. Uh... OK, group two, I'm going to tell it to you very directly because you're direct type of people. Right before it opens up, remember I told you that right at the last second it's going to open up? Right before it does, 
you're going to probably lose a lot of motivation and even like hopefulness about this. You're going to be like, oh my God, like when is this going to come through? It's not going to come through. What's going to happen here? Um, you may feel that in the near future. But right after is when the gift comes through. So be careful with this energy. And I, I've i seen this happen a lot. It's like when we release this energy is right when the gift comes through. Everybody, you know, we, we see how energy works. It's always paradoxical. So uh, try not to get wrapped up in the fear aspect of things. Once you release the fear and you just are existing without grasping or longing for anything and you're just there this gift has the space to come into your life so that's why i asked it in this way will you receive these changes ultimately the answer is yes very much so can you tell us more advice please can you tell us more advice for group two what do they need to know about this whole thing Yeah, they said it again. So I really think it's interesting how some of the negative thoughts or whatever this is like shadow side of things is coming out at the end. I think that you guys have worked so hard on this and you've led with a strong mind that this honestly has created a little bit of imbalance at this point because of the fear or because of like uh I, there's just something here at the end or from time to time you may feel this how do i put this how do i put this it just feels to me that sometimes um you you may feel way too much in the head that you have not been letting yourself feel some of your emotions okay uh and maybe a lot of you feel that it's because you don't want to feel like you don't want to feel the sadness or the fear or you may even consider it as like a bad thing or even a sign of weakness or failure to feel these things but what they're telling you is that this is actually really needed at this point um so imagine I don't know if this is true for all of you, but I am kind of feeling a little bit of like um, a restriction energy. I don't think that you purposely suppress anything. I just think that because of how motivated you are, there hasn't been the opportunity to feel the deeper emotions, okay? And I can understand that because let's say that you have a tendency to feel down or, or worried Maybe you just didn't want to feel that and you just wanted to keep going and focus, focus, focus on the outward stuff. But what they're saying, the point that they're making is that it has caused a little bit of an imbalance with the internal. All you have to do to correct this is to feel, you know, feel your body, your soul, your emotions. And if you consider these to be negative emotions, you may have to really just let them pass through because we still have the devil energy here um i don't want to say that this energy is going to inevitably catch up to you but that's kind of what energy tends to do so i i just wanted to say that to you now so that you don't have to feel um that fear or that unpleasant five of pentacles energy later on you can actually confront this now and this will be in your favor so that is their advice for you guys to let yourself feel these feelings so fear or or sadness or worry or um whatever you're feeling i know that sounds weird but when we allow ourselves to feel emotions or energy strangely enough it allows us to release them better and faster because if we're not feeling them like I just got this image of imagine imagine if you were a person who wanted to say one thing in a meeting and you wanted to speak really badly and you're like I just want to say something I just want to say something and you never got to you're going to be holding on to that frustration until the day comes where you get to be heard 
Your emotions need to be heard, okay? And I just like felt all of that pent-up frustration just now at the end. You see it just snapped? Oh, okay. There it is. Oh, <sighs> so that's your advice, group two. That's the final advice. Please do not worry. You got this. You guys are so strong-willed and, and hard-working. You have, you have so many qualities that people are looking for to be on their team, um, not just work, anything, you know, the team of life, basically. Um, you have absolutely no reason to doubt your success or this particular success. So um, the fact that they had this message of your emotions today, this is not only pertaining to today's reading, this is your whole path in itself, okay? Let yourself feel. You're going to be pleasantly surprised that you did. Um, if you have persistent feelings of anxiety or sadness, then, you know, obviously that's something to work through on a regular basis, but just do your best. Just do your best um, and allow yourself to feel them and ultimately allow yourself to heal as well. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there because this was quite a reading. Um, very powerful. Uh, took a turn I didn't expect, but yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I really appreciate you watching. Um, let me know what happens when this comes through, please. <laughs> okay, group two. So thank you once again. Um, this is a general reading and I hope that it resonated, but if you'd like a personal reading, link is in the description. Okay, so thank you. Uh, sending you love and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Hey everyone, this is a reading for those of you that chose group number three, which is the green fluorite. Spirit, this reading is for group three, please. And the energies for them, especially what changes they're ready for and will make and receive. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group three. So we're going to first look at what you're dealing with, what your present energies are. The answer will probably come up right away. Spirit for group three, please. What are their present energies and what are they dealing with? Thank you. For group three, please. <laughs> Your card <laughs> completely just skidded off. It hit me and then fell on the floor. That's funny. I wonder what that means. Let's get that in a second. Spirit, what else can you tell us uh, for group three? Hang on. It's like the only time you'll ever see me pause is if I have to pick up a card, cough, or sneeze. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, group three. That was, that's really amazing to me. Let's start there. I'm not even going to get my crazy amount of shuffles like I always do. We have to start here. So this was the card that you saw what it did. Okay. Look at what it is. Isn't that, I, I feel it. I feel it. So the cards speak, right? I've talked about that in my how-to videos about the symbolism of the cards. Actually, the, this was my original one. That was a while ago. Your card was saying that it wants to be free. And you know what's really weird? Even weirder, we get physical symbols, uh, symbolism too. As I'm relaying this message to you, as I was speaking, my eye closed. One of my eyes was closed. That was very strange. 
okay? So your, you, your card literally wanted to be free. It jumped off and freed itself. It just, you know, it just doesn't want to be contained anymore. This is confirmed because we have next to it the Ten of Wands, okay? This is the Eight of Swords and then the Ten of Wands. So this is what you're dealing with most likely. And if this is not resonating for you, uh, I will explain and it might. But if it's not resonating, this is not your group because group three, this is a an energy of someone, whether it's conscious or soul level, feels trapped and burdened. And I feel like this over here, this Three of Cups is probably the prize, which is freedom celebration and the coming together of some kind in joy so over here yeah that's the change that's desired obviously right um it's not telling me much else so i do have to get more cards but that is what you're dealing with now um real quick uh if this is not conscious this could be on some level. So if you are feeling trapped or burdened on a deep level, you may have physical symptoms. You may be feeling fatigued all the time, exhausted for no reason. And there is actually no physical reason either. It's not like because of a, uh, uh, a condition or something like that. It's just this unexplained fatigue and exhaustion. You may be feeling back pain. You may be feeling... Um, any kind of heaviness at all or a numbness. These are only some of the physical things that I'm seeing coming from these cards. Another thing that could be involved is even your vision. Remember I said my eye closed? Both of these cards, they can't see, okay? Um, and then finally, it could have something to do with being in an enclosed space, physically speaking. So uh, there's no windows or it's just like a tight space. You can't breathe very well. There's just a lot going on here, okay? So after I've said that, it may resonate with some more of you guys. Spirit, can you tell us more? What are they dealing with? Present energies <clears throat> for group three, please. Some of this, or, jeez, oh, Ten of Swords at the bottom. Again, you see that burden, the back, the swords, darkness. Uh, we have here the moon. A lot of this could be, actually, you know, it's both. The moon is striking me as more of the fear and mental aspect of things. And then this came out. So this is actually the physical side of things. So it is affecting both. Um, the moon is really the, yeah, the fear, the uncertainty, the confusion. I'm seeing here in the fool card, uh, oh, wow, I said the fool. I wonder what that means. Um, in the moon card, I am seeing the yes and no or the dichotomy here. Uh, the two towers, the two uh, dogs, one is wild and one is domesticated, apparently. Um, and there's a path in the middle. So I feel that you guys are, it's like a limbo. It, yeah, it does feel like you're in some sort of a limbo of, I have no idea what, I'm gonna get that next. But yeah, there's, um, I don't even know if this is a decision you have to make or what, but there is a lot of uncertainty here and there is this pull, this back and forth pull that you may be experiencing. The, uh, the Queen of Pentacles, like I said, has to do with the physical or environmental or, I mean, of course, it could be something financial, but I feel like this is more of you, not about your finances. Can we know what this moon card is talking about with these two towers and these two dogs? What do we need to know here? Some of you, okay, just for some of you, this may indicate that you're dealing with another person or situation like outside of yourself that mirrors you. That's only for some of you. Can we know about the, the two towers or the two dogs here? Oh, wow. That's okay. That that honestly kind of was a little freaky. You see, I shuffle live because <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You have the two of cups, okay? I feel like from the beginning, I've had nervous laughter. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is nervous laughter from these cards because you saw how it flew out and I'm just looking at this and I'm like, wow, this is 
a really validated message then. So group three, I do think that for many of you, you're dealing with some sort of a mirror of your soul. If it's not a direct person that comes to mind, this is with yourself. This is an inner battle. And for those of you that identify that this is a, um, it could be like a, it could be a romantic soulmate, but it also could be a friend or family soulmate. Like, well, someone that really resonates with your soul. They're, they're almost like magnets. <clears throat> but again, this could be you looking into the own mirror of you. Okay, that that really blew me away because it does look like you're looking into a mirror here. So, so that's what we're dealing with here. All right, group three, we're dealing with the burden, the captivity, the confusion, the back and forth, the back and forth, back and forth. So I feel like there's one more thing. Is there anything else that we need to know before we ask the question, Spirit, for group three? Definitely stuckness, um, yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles here. Feeling at a standstill, like, like things aren't moving at all. Hmm. And then this, we, we did see this before. The fact that it came out is really, again, confirming this. <sighs> so heavy here, really. With these two so so very heavy i you know what i'm feeling the physical heaviness of the swords here which i never ever felt before i feel the 10 heavy swords on your back oh no um so i'm getting the image of old worn ancient looking swords you I, okay, I don't want to say this as if I know with certainty, but I do want to say this with with some level of confidence that you carried this from a past life, I feel. Group three. I feel that there was some burden that you did carry from a past lifetime because I can see that these are ancient swords. These are like, geez, I'm feeling it in my neck now. This is like crazy heavy. Um, you know what would be great? If you guys could get some kind of like massage therapy or something. <laughs> That would be great. If you can't do that because of obviously money, um, if you if you can have someone like a friend or someone do it for you, because your your tension really needs to be loosened up here. And if you if you do it physically first, it may help to relax like the mind and the and the the spirit a little bit. Um, it's 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 that heavy that it, it's definitely distracting the reading. But anyway. Um, from the past life, yeah, it does feel like it carried over and just got heavier and heavier. So this means that we need to resolve this. And that's the next question. Are you ready for the change that is needed here? Uh, and then finally, we have the magician. Okay, the magician wants to say a lot. Let's, let's do this. Uh, what would you like to say, magician? I think the first thing that the magician was saying was that you do have the power. Hold on. The magician, please. Oh. Oh. No wonder. Because there's so much um, opposition surrounding you. I feel that in your environment, in your situation, there's just people coming at you from different directions. Like, they're not letting you rest. People are, like, bombarding you or poking at you or yelling at you. Um, if that doesn't resonate, then this is just some kind of environmental confusion or stress, conflict, or chaos. There's a lot going on here. And that's why it has distracted you or, like, kind of derailed you from the path or your power. That makes sense. Anything else with the magician, please? Some of you, if it's not people, it is physical. Um, there could be so many physical things that are that are in the way. Uh, and another thing, see? Blockage, power being stifled. So before I get the changes and if you're going to be receiving them, I just wanted to recap or just to conclude this message here first. Okay, let, I, let's see. First of all, you are the magician you've been carrying a lot of weight from a very long time very very long time 
both in this lifetime and in the past lifetime. And what I'm getting here from this opposition is that, I mean, yes, part of it is that you were meant to endure this for the ultimate purpose of rising above it because that's why any of us go through anything, really. Um, some people might disagree with that, you know, <laughs> it's fine. But I, I feel that um, this this is part of your soul's path, right? Um, and even if you don't agree with that, he, you're here now. So it's currently the path that you're on and that you will ultimately overcome. Um, and all of this, and you, you probably already have heard this or know this, is that all of this, the mirror person or whatever situation and the chaos and the blockage and all of this stuff is nothing more than uh, your internal battles being manifested and symbolized in some way so that is what spirit wants you to see otherwise the changes cannot happen they want you to look at this from a in from an internal soul perspective so they're here's what they're asking you can you please take a look at what is blocking your soul what is burdening your soul what is your inner chaos what are you internally holding on to and what are you uh what is blocking you okay so the internal is coming out into your external and they want you to solve one and then the, the other they want you to first figure out your internal world and bring it to some form of peace and some form of balance and then once you do that like magic you will see everything else completely fade or at least alleviate in some way okay that's what i'm seeing here so i would tell you that there's only one way to find out um at the very least if you if you try that specific soul work of um discovery and like the introspective stuff it won't hurt you'll at least feel better mentally you'll at least feel more peaceful so that's what they want you to know before we can ask the next question okay so what changes are you ready for spirit what changes are they ready for group number three please okay what changes are they ready for please <clears throat> Group three. This is a this is a, a paradox and a contradiction almost, but what what spirit is saying here is that you will unexpectedly see truth. In the illusion so if you are ready to receive truth or even if you're not I mean that's why it's a weird message but the bottom line is that you are going to unexpectedly be hit with truth and see through the illusion some of you may have already done that just as you made some kind of a realization right now uh, and others of you, this is coming very soon, where your eyes are going to open wide. No more half vision or, or zero vision. Your eyes are going to open wide. Now, that's why this is a tricky answer, because <laughs> it's not telling me if you were ready for this, because we can't exactly be ready for something that's unexpected, that's why this is fun, like a funny answer to me, but it doesn't really matter. Either way, this is going to happen. You're going to be unexpectedly awakened. Can you tell us more? What changes are they ready for and or will they make or receive? Whoops. Sorry. What changes are they ready for or will they make? <clears throat> one let's get one more this is beautiful i am so relieved first you have this card from the beginning the three of cups the one i was talking about with celebration what okay so there is a mix of an answer here group three let's be let's let's pick this apart for a second because this is really important you have both answers see 
you have one of happiness and one of sadness and a bunch of other negative uh, emotions or thoughts, right? Group three, I have to be blunt with you. Some of you may not be ready for this yet, but the rest of you are extremely ready. So that's why this, this whole reading was a big back and forth. It was like a whole juggling thing. Hence the message in the beginning about balance, right? So <sighs> group number one and group number two both got a yes, and you guys got a yes and a no. I'll take it, <laughs> okay? If 50% of this is a yes, that is hopefulness right there. So here's the determining factor. If you want to make these changes, that's a determining factor. Because let's remember that we do have power on our path. I don't think that we're, any of us are destined for consistent doom or, you know, negativity. Um, because that would be a really unfair hand that we're dealt. Um, again, some people may not entirely agree with me on that one. But I think that by choosing, for example, just with any thought process, by choosing the gratitude versus the loss, we have chosen one thing that's positive over negative. That's just one tiny example that can be used in the whole path. So for those of you that are ready and willing to make that change, you absolutely will. It's right here. Okay, and we did see it again at the bottom. You're ready for happiness. You're ready for celebration. You're ready for change and warmth. But if you're not yet, and if you're even honest enough to admit that, that's fine. That is okay. And you know what? I have totally been here too. It's all a matter of divine timing. It took me a good many amount of years to finally be ready to drop the cloak, you know, the black cloak of awfulness. Um, that's just what it is some, for some of us. Again, it's all about divine timing and divine alignment and our own personal will, right? So even if the answer is no for you and, uh, and you can say that out loud, there is no problem with that. There is no judgment there. My only ask of you is that you give yourself some form of self-love in the meantime and that you have trust and that you have faith ultimately that you will be ready, Okay. That's, that's the only recommendation that I have. Whew. So this was quite heavy. Um, let's get a final bit of advice for you guys. Can you please tell us any advice for this for group three? And I don't even know. I, I just spoke a lot. And I really have no idea how I got here or even what I was saying. So I hope that this is resonating. Can you tell us any final messages of advice, please, for group three? So the final advice for you guys has to do with, there is another message for balance here, but they want you to just do your best to remain relatively clear and not overly distracted by all of the struggle, conflict, chaos, and fog. There's like a, all this smog here. They want you to clear your mind and you can do this in a very simple way by breathing, maybe sitting outside, asking the air guardians or air element to help you to clear the mind. Um, some people can't meditate. It, it's difficult. So journal, right? You know, do something that you can actively just um, uh, sort of empty your mind a little bit. Okay. And again, the final thing here is about balance. Just, um, I would use an affirmation for balance, okay? Even something as simple as I find my inner balance or I'm learning to center myself, anything kind of preliminary. So uh, that is the final thing because when you're in your balance, you are in your power. You are standing tall in your power. They don't really have anything else besides what I already said, but let's just get one more. Anything else, any other message, final message for group three, please? ace of wands this one was not an advice this one was actually an encouragement um that once you pass that that stage once you pass this sort of the the lesson here you integrate this lesson you will be feeling a huge wave of passion and this new life force that's coming towards you it's like a breath of fresh air okay oh man so group three, what a reading. Um, 
I truly hope that this was helpful because this I know it's not easy. You know, I I I related with that earlier. It, it's it's definitely not easy. Um, some added things here. Just remember that you guys are never alone. We're all in this together. We are the collective. Just please always remember that. And if you don't have anyone to reach out to in a physical sense, you always, always, always have your spirit guides close to you, your guardian angel, your uh, angels, you know, all the higher level beings. Okay, so at least you have, you know, to remember that is your strength. Okay, so group three, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, it's a general reading. If you want a personal reading, the info is in the description um, and the slots are open for April. Okay, thank you guys. Sending you love and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you that chose group number four, which is the Clear Quartz Pendulum. Spirit, this reading is for group four and the energies for them especially. What changes they're ready for and will make or receive. Please provide us with clear guided messages for group four. Okay, so we're going to just first uh, check present energies, see what you guys are dealing with, and the answer should be clear from, from this. Well, we'll see. Spirit for group four, please. Our clear quartz group. Can you let us know what are their present energies? What are they dealing with? Group four. Group four, please. Clear quartz pendulum group. What are they dealing with? Present energies. Okay, so just one. <coughs> Wow. Um, it's very loving energy so far. Uh, so a little bit of a shy start because there's not too many cards. Usually I get more from my shuffles, but we have here the nine of cups, the two of cups, and the three of wands. This is looking very beautiful, really promising, very positive and hopeful. I'm just not sure if this is exactly the present right right now or if it's in the immediate future or near future. Either way, it's good news, right? <laughs> okay. Um, can you tell us anything more for group number four? What are their present energies? What are they dealing with? Okay. 
Okay, I did want to say this with the Nine of Cups and then I got confirmation with this Seven of Pentacles at the bottom that I do feel that a lot of you may be waiting for something or waiting on something because I was noting that this person is sitting on a bench and I never really noticed that before. And the Seven of Pentacles is making me feel like there's something in the works, like something's growing, right? So we also have here... The Knight of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Five of Cups. So I am kind of getting the feeling that there is something you're wishing for still, specifically. Uh, and this Five of Cups here, though, that's the one. Let me, let me see. Why is the Five of Cups here, Spirit? What is this talking about? Why is it here? It's almost, I'm getting a mix of energy. It's almost as if you are so incredibly hopeful for this thing, but then when you really kind of snap out of it for a second, you're like, oh, that's not here. That's not happening. It's kind of like that. <sighs> hmm. Okay. So we have the King of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Yeah, it's kind of a similar vibe. It makes me feel that you've been thinking and thinking and thinking about this, but something hasn't been quite aligned yet. See, I'm still not convinced. There's like, there's this message that wants to come out here. Spirit, what is the truth of this? What Can we go a little deeper into their present energies? What are their present energies? Group four. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, you have here the queen of pentacles. Interesting. And then you have the page of wands. You have a king and a queen of pentacles sitting here together and neither of them are looking at each other. That's interesting to me. Um, this makes me feel like there is some sort of internal conflict or some kind of conflict where you have two people that are, or, or two energies, really two sides of the same thing and they're really not interested to look at one another for some weird reason. Um, so group four, either, well, you could certainly be dealing with your internal conflict, but um, the obvious additional answer is that you're dealing with another person right now. I don't know if you're at a standstill or you're waiting for something or they're waiting for you. Like there's something going on here that didn't want to be said. This doesn't want to be even spoken about for, for some reason in your energy. Um, that is curious to me. Let's, let's, let's kind of dig deeper here. And this is, by the way, obviously related to the changes that you're going to be seeing. Can you tell us more, Spirit, deep, uh, deeper now? What's going on for Group 4 in their energy? What What is this? What are they dealing with? What is their present energy for Group 4? Oh, that's probably why. We have the Devil card. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. And then the Nine of Pentacles, okay. There is a big shadow here. That's why I'm having a hard time with this energy. Group four, I feel that some of you, either this is you or the person you're dealing with. I gotta be careful with how I word this, but um, Many of you may be dealing with either your own devil shadow energy that is isolating you or the other person you may be dealing with is, is experiencing this. There is a lot of fear here or um, even like ego-based thinking that's not genuine to the soul. For example, pride or anger that could be here. And um, again, either you're not wanting to face something within yourself or you're not wanting to look towards somebody else that you may have a connection with in some way. With the Three of Pentacles being here, what I'm kind of feeling is that the energy wants to cooperate or collaborate but someone doesn't want to co collaborate, okay? Someone doesn't really want to work together here. Um, 
there's a bench here too, similar to the other card. I don't ever really notice benches, but I am noticing it now. So what does a bench even really mean? I mean, here it looks like a working bench. Um, there's only, but there's, but they're they're not together though. There, it's like there's only one person here. There's only one person showing up here. Can you tell us anything more that will help us with the questions, uh, Spirit? Anything else for group number four? What what do we need to see? What do, we, what do they and we need to see, please? I can tell that one person is definitely happier than the other here. Alternatively, this also could be that maybe the happy face is on, but there's a lot more beneath the surface. It's it's not exactly completely happy and satisfied. There's a lot more here. <clears throat> okay, so you also have the Four of Wands. And this one. Okay, it's it's heavy. The Five of Cups again. Okay. So we have it here and here. And um, unfortunately, I'm feeling that the Five of Cups is the most genuine energy of the entire spread. Okay. Um, okay. Spirit, is there anything else that you can tell us about the Five of Cups? I'm just confused as to whether this is you or a different person that you're dealing with. But can you please tell us about the Five of Cups, Spirit? What do we need to know about the Five of Cups? To be fair, I do feel like someone here, especially hopefully you, you're working on your happiness. I do feel that. I do feel that that's your focus. Um, but when I said before that there's a lot going on, this is just meaning that there's a lot going on in your soul's journey to still be discovered, to still be balanced or healed. Um, the Five of Cups, we have here the Ace of Pentacles. I clarified the Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles and then the Wheel of Fortune. In time, there will be some sort of reward, is what they said, actually. Or offering, either one, whichever one resonates. In time, divine timing, there will be a reward or an offering. That is what they said. I'm curious to know what that means for you guys. But let's get the question. Okay, let's see. Spirit, for group number four, please. What changes are they ready for, please? For group number four. What changes are they ready for? And will make and receive. Group four. What changes are they ready for and will make or receive? Okay. Um... This is a <clears throat> very interesting message. Very odd, though. First, we have this, the Seven of Swords. Then the Four of Swords. Then the Eight of Cups. Just one of these cards would be a completely different answer, but all of these together, this is only for some of you. But... I'm saying this because of the Four of Swords. Let me say this slowly. I feel that for, for this portion of you guys, you're ready to wake up. That's what I feel. The Four of Swords... Sorry, this is heavy um, in general. The Four of Swords is someone who is asleep. This is someone who is meditating, contemplating, or not fully conscious or awake, right? The Seven of Swords is speaking of illusion, deceit, or untruth. The Eight of Cups is talking about moving away from this energy, moving on from this energy. Even though I feel that the other portion of you guys may not be entirely ready to face something or wake up because you're still dreaming, metaphorically. Um, that's why this is very tricky. I'm going to narrow this down for you. Spirit, can you please tell us about the Eight of Cups? Oh, jeez. Can you tell us if they're ready? Are they ready? 
to wake up or to accept this change or to realize truth or themselves, whatever it is. Eight of Cups, please. Only the Eight of Cups, please. Okay, so you guys have a different answer than yes or no. It's a it's dependent on something. Look, see? You have the nine of swords and then the five of pentacles. So yours is a trick question or a trick answer actually, because it's actually oh my god. Wow. This is showing me that this is not a matter of are you ready? or not. This is a matter of basically maybe destiny or divine alignment or something spiritual because this is what's going to happen. This is a very, very powerful card. This is the outcome. The Ace of Cups is the outcome. I mean, you look at this and definitely see an energy that is alive and awake and flowing fully awake big old eyes <laughs> like big eyes awake okay um so that's why this was a very uh th this answer is true to the seven of swords it tricked me or it's trying to trick me in some way so each group got either the yes or the no or even a maybe but you guys had had none of those okay they're basically telling me that you will be re that you will make this change but not because you're ready for it so some of you may have a bit of a i guess you could call it like a sudden awakening i was gonna say a rude awakening but yeah you're gonna have this sudden awakening right and others of you, yeah. I mean, definitely, it's something that you've chosen to awaken from. I can see that. But that's it. Those are the two categories. I see that it's a yes. Okay? So at least we got clarity, sort of. <laughs> I did my best. But um, with these two cards, what I'm really getting from this is that your soul is way too tired of feeling this way. The anxiety, the what-ifs, the stress the um the sadness the the feeling left it in the cold and abandoned and lost there is no path here and you don't you you just you you can't deal with that anymore i mean there's no other way to say that like you can't deal with it anymore mentally or physically or spiritually you're ready to find the path again okay so I will rephrase whether or not this goes for, I, I, I feel most of you, whether or not you even feel that you're ready for whatever changes are meant to come to you, namely waking up or seeing some truth to things, which I'll get more on next. Um, it, it, it doesn't matter because you will, you will. So what is the thing that they're waking up to, Spirit? That is the real question, right? There's so much going on in your reading. Let let's get um let's get the little kind of downsize this a little bit. Okay. Spirit, what are they waking up to? What is the whole point of this message, please? Purpose. What are they waking up to? Four of Swords, Eight of Cups. Wow. You have the Ace of Cups again. You're waking up to healing. And a crap load of some kind of love whether it's in yourself like the self-love or coming from an outside source it could be god it could be uh, a friend a soulmate uh, uh actually it's more than one place so that's good news um and then you have here the king of wands you're waking up to i said before your truth and Specifically here, you're waking up to... No, this is a really specific message. You're waking up to your ability to have power in your life. Healthy control in your life in a steady way. And the ability to move forward with a sense of positivity to reach your success and your prosperity. Like for real, for real. Not, 
not the kind that you may have been chasing before that just kind of made you feel even uh, more of the devil energy. This is something that is bringing you to light, okay? Spirit, is there anything else? What what is, what is this change that's coming to them? What what specifically is this change? Can you tell us anything more? What is the change coming to them? Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Uh, some of you may have been worrying either about um, a psychic person that was involved or your own intuitive and spiritual abilities here you've been really worried about this like so the queen of cups is going to represent either you or a person close to you like soul level but whatever it is it's it's purely and highly psychic uh and spiritual some of you uh, i think lesser of you it has to do something with like creativity but this is something that has to do with psychic and uh spiritual flow so but it's been really really burdening you whether or not you've been consciously focusing on it okay so the change is going to be that you're going to re probably release the worry or come to some sort of clarity about this. Anything else about uh, any of these other cards? What is the change that's coming to them? What is the change that's coming to them, please? You're going to make a decision on something, too. Oh, that is drum roll. Let's see. Two of swords. What is the decision about, please? What is the decision about specifically now? What can you tell us? Two of swords, two of swords. Got three cards, let's see. Two of swords is clarified by the knight of swords, the devil, wow, and the page of the page of wands. Um, you're going to, this is crazy, I love this message. You're going to decide to face your fear. There's been something that has been scaring the crap out of you, I think, group four. Um, and only you will know what that is because it's going to be specific to you and your journey. But whatever has been scaring you to death, you're going to face that with the bravery of a child who just is not looking in that direction. <laughs> like the, the inner child, the child is not afraid. A child, because they're so pure and uh, connected to divine, they, they just don't have that same fear that we have. They, have. they have probably different fears, but they don't have that same type of fear that we have that it's like dark based, you know, like ego based. So that's huge. You're going to face the fear. Wow, I love it, I love it. So I think that the last thing that I wanna get is advice. <clears throat> Spirit, what is your final advice, please? For group number four, anything at all that they need to hear, anything. So we have the four of cups here. And you can see from this card that they may have been trying to gift you with something or show you something. Their advice is for you to open your arms to receive it that's not easy to do your arms were crossed in the first card so it's kind of like well how like how do we do that um i probably would recommend a practical thing of just saying an affirmation you can say to yourself and really mean this you know that you're opening yourself to receiving messages um you can say that you know i am open to receiving messages i am open to receiving knowledge whatever it might be because this is going to affect your path this is going to allow the path to open up itself and look at what you have here on the bottom okay so the fool so this is actually how it's made possible by just simply opening up your arms to receive um try to try to catch yourself try to try to find like those moments where you feel like you're either literally crossing your arms or symbolically closing yourself off to something try to feel that within yourself you can feel it because your muscles get tight and your just body clenches up like this your breathing is probably going to become constricted try to find those moments and reverse that and have a more open attitude you can see the opposite attitude and body language you see that the fool is open to anything without fear because the fool trusts okay final message please for group four final message
it's pretty much the same message, actually. You have the Four of Pentacles, which is um, a blockage energy as well. But we also have the Star card next to it. So this actually changes the message to say, if you want to hold on to anything tightly, hold on to faith. Hold on to the dream, the vision, or anything at all that makes you feel inspired and hopeful. That's what they want you to hold on to. Okay, very beautiful final message there. So, <sighs> group four. Yes, that is what I have for you. I really hope that this was helpful. And I'm very curious to know what's going on here because I am lost. <laughs> okay, let me know in the comments if you if you feel called to. But remember, it's a general reading. If you'd like the personalized, the, uh, the personal reading infos in the description, April slots are now open. So thank you guys. Okay, lovely reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you the very, very best and I'm sending you love. Okay, I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.